My name is Linda Kamau. I am a co-founder at So Precise Africa. We are developing a farm information management system called Riverbird. Riverbird is customized to work within the African infrastructure, characterized by poor internet connection, limited power supply, and low purchasing power by the farmers. Our deal. Food processors in Africa spend a great deal of money and time managing their outgrower farmers. At So Precise Africa, we give them with a bird at 35 euros per farmer to manage their contracted farmers. Our market. Our beachhead market is the sunflower seed processors in Kenya. We shall target 50 processors each year, giving us a revenue of approximately 5 million euros. We shall eventually target the sub-Saharan market and target 20% of the entire market share, giving us an estimated revenue of 70 million euros. Our customer value proposition is that using Weberbird, the food aggregators will save money lost due to sub expensive supply gaps. This money is lost through sales revenue that they would have done. It's also lost through, to, through other indirect costs. On the other hand, the farmer loses a lot of money by underutilization of land and weaver bird gives them a 40% chance to increase food production. Weaver bird is a combination of supply chain management, smart agriculture and financial technology. Weaver bird works by the oil processor registers the farmers into our system. So Precise then goes and set IoT devices in the farm, for example, a soil moisture sensor. Once this soil moisture sensor detects that water has gone below a preset value, it then links the farmer to an irrigation service provider. The irrigation service provider irrigates the farms and invoices the processor. Once the farmer is ready to harvest, they are linked to the transporter and it, it, the produce is taken to an aggregation center. And once the product gets to a given amount, the aggregation center is linked to the processor and the produce is, up, is supplied. This saves the processor money and time that they normally use to manage their supply chain and they are able to concentrate on their core business. Our customer discovery journey started with an assumption that oil processors in Africa face a raw material supply cut at certain times of the year that cause loss of revenue. So far, we have interviewed eight processors, 35 farmers, and 10 service provider. The processors lose about 30,000 euros every month. The farmers lose 2,000 euros every season, and the service providers lose potential income of 450 euros. We have, our progress is we have secured an 18-acre demo farm in Bere South, we are on the second iteration of Weaver Bird, and we are in the process of signing a memorandum of understanding with an oil processor. By year five, we expect to make 73 million euros by working with 2 million farmers, charging 35 euros per channel. Our key financial drivers is the cost of product, our high number of customers, and our long customer lifetime. We shall penetrate this market due to specialization, speed of implementation, and commitment to constant development. By year five, we expect to capture 1.8 million metric tons of carbon from the air by growing land on 16 million acres that are historically left bare. Our team is comprised of Helen Wairago, our CEO, myself, the CTO, and Pius Wambua, the field coordinator. Our five-year dream is to make revenue of 70 million euros by year five, work with 2 million farmers, spearhead regenerative agricultural practices in sub-Saharan Africa. Our shared vision is to streamline the agricultural supply chain in Africa, one sector at a time. Thank you.